Hi there. This is Eric Hawkinson, and this is a presentation that revolves around a set of activities using augmented reality and mobile technology that were designed and implemented in an experiment to see how these technologies can be used at large international events and conferences. And this is a Pecha Kucha style. So what is augmented reality? It's not virtual reality, which is completely a simulated environment. Augmented reality has to use something from the physical world around you. The example here being the cockpit displaying instrument data on top of the real world. So now with the advances in mobile technology, we can now have this heads up display in our pockets, um, and giving us an afford affordances for similar informal learning environments, just like uh, we can use it in tourism as we see here. An earlier iteration of AR that came out in the early 2000s used the successor of the QR code and in many ways basically uses a computer with a webcam to tr track pre-programmed markers and place some 3D models to be manipulated in real time. But now we have that same technology in our pockets with our mobile devices and now we can have our own heads up display. Your phone takes information from its GPS locator as well as from the internet and connects them together to be able to physically guide you around locations. And this is what we wanted to use at the event. Some of the latest gaming consoles are using this uh, very advanced form of this. Uh, they don't even need mark pre-programmed markers to track. They know faces and voices and even track the geometry of the room to make digital objects to interact with. It's quite fun. So this year at TEDx Kyoto, we assembled an interactive team to gear participants to get them more engaged with speakers and vendors and volunteers. We wanted to encourage more interaction between all the stakeholders, both in person and virtually online. So we, our design approach for the goal of increased participant engagement employed several motivational foundations and we connected the mantra of TED of sharing ideas, and we took concepts from adult and informal learning to help us design and implement these activities. So to have a bit of fun at first, we created an AR booth where passersby could uh, show their pamphlet, the program guide to a webcam, and some interesting AR effects would come about from showing us that on the webcam. It would just pop up on the screen. And we use these images to start a live Twitter feed so everyone could see their pictures both online and the a bunch of monitors that, that we were showing around the venue. The reaction was very fun to see what the participants thought simply by taking the pose and passing by. A lot of smiling faces, a lot of, uh, in Japanese, sugoi's or wow kind of thing. Lots of novelty. We took over 100 of these screenshots over the course of the day and created a live Twitter feed using them to display also on the monitors around the venue. And the goal there was to help encourage people to share their photos to their friends and uh, get an online, a bigger online discussion of what was happening at the event. We also created an augmented reality smartphone application so the users can walk around and explore the venue in a fun and interesting way. This app overlaid digital information on physical things all over the event. This is an example of some of the visual triggers that could be used with the app. These were placed at partner and vendor booths. One important thing to note here is we noticed a lot of cognitive overload. Uh, AR takes a lot out because it's using real world senses and virtual senses and learning how to use new technology and learning, some, learning to use something with it at the same time can be a lot to, for a first time user. So you use the app and what you see here is uh, what the virtual stuff that's overlaid on top of the physical stuff. You can link out to Twitter feeds, videos, uh, pictures, and links uh, for further information on the web. So we added a bit of gamification ideas to this, and we created a tweet rally where participants were given the challenge of finding eight of 12 tweet links around the venue 
And if you were able to get all of those and come back and we checked your Twitter feed, you're able to get some sort of a prize. One of Hostev's for cultural dimensions is uncertainty of wins. And we saw this a lot with the cultural acceptance of ambiguity, with the large, quite surprisingly large, use of flip and smartphones. That's why we created a low-tech activity just next to the AR booth where you can use a pen and paper. We also had some other activities involved as well. One was a interactive 360-degree panorama where it was triggered by the augmented reality app where you can go up to a sign and actually experience what it's like to stand on the TEDx stage or backstage. We also used some motion technology to make a sound motion booth. So I tied all the AR application triggers into Google Analytics so we can now able to go back and track the use of the application, see how it was used. The application was used by less than 50 unique devices and accessed about 180 AR triggers during the day. And I'm already working on plans for the next year, looking into other possible events where this might be able to be used. Uh, the next generation would benefit greatly from the use of wearables, but unfortunately, these, wear, these wearables still don't have the processing power to run this app with any acceptable level of responsiveness. There's a ton of other things I'd like to share to you with you about this, but if you want to know more, you can like, subscribe, and follow me at these websites. So that's all for now. I'm Eric Hawkinson. You have a great day.